Hello, in this video, we're going to talk about the Sierra chart chat window feature. This is a new feature that is still in development. And this is intended to become the primary communications interface for Sierra chart users and collaborations. So we're going to show how to use the basics of the chat window in this video. So let's start off by going to file and select open chat window. This is the new chat window. And uh, it is very fast and efficient, just like all the other windows within the software. Um, it can be moved around and manipulated, resized, and fully customized with different fonts um, or font sizes, as well as uh, colors. And you'll see that in a moment here. This chat window right now supports chat as well as file sharing, but it is being expanded to support calling as well as video calling, screen sharing, and even remote assistance. So at the top left of the screen here, uh, we can disconnect from the chat server or connect if you're not already connected. So if I select disconnect and uh, you'll look at the message log and it will tell you that there has been a socket connection that was closed. So now I will connect and then you'll see in your message log uh, that it is connecting to the IP address. So that is on my other screen. You're not seeing that. The next setting here is uh, for the settings. Now, currently there is only one setting, which is to allow your username to be searchable. If you set this to yes, when a user selects new chat or new group, and they perform the search to find a Sierra chart user, they can partially type in a portion of your username and the system will find your username. Whereas if you set this to no, they will need to type in your entire username from start to finish in order for your username to pop up in the search results when they are starting a new chat. So in this case, we've turned it off. It is set to no. So let's select OK. OK, so to start a new chat, you select new chat. And in the first box here, you will need to type in the CR chart username that you want to start a chat with. Let's start by typing here. So I'll type in example. And you can perform a search by partially typing the username. So if I perform the search right here, we might get some search results, but in this case, we have not. So what I'll do is I'll type in a complete username, example user 01, and I will perform the search for that. In this case, there is a username. So we'll select example user 01, and we will start a chat with them. So let's apply and OK. Now we have a new chat with example user 01. And let's start off by sending a message to them. So this is the basic interface. We can attach files here by selecting attach and you will have to navigate to the folder on your system by clicking that button. And then you should be able to attach any files into a, the chat window. Links are also supported. If you send a link in a chat message, you will be able to open that link by right clicking on it. If I right click on this message, I have the options to copy it edit the message or delete the message. So if I go ahead and select edit, edit the message and then resend it, you can see that I was able to edit that. There's also a timestamp right there showing when it was sent. If you want to get rid of a chat, you can simply select delete chat and it will no longer be there. So to start a new group, select new group. Um, you will have to give it a name to start. I'll just name it group one. And then here it will show the list of the group members. In this case, it's a new group. We haven't added any members yet. And then we need to search for the usernames again, one by one. So again, I'll add example user zero one, perform the search for that. And um, I will add example user one to my group in this case, and then apply. And now we see our new group here on the left. We can tell it's a group because there's the letter G next to it. Now we can send messages to the group as well as attach files. And when you have a group like this, you'll also be able to edit the chat. If you started the group, you will have admin privileges for the group. So you should see your username first in the group member list. And you'll see that you have admin privileges. And then you can see the list of users in this list box right here. In the edit chat window, um, you can also add in or remove users from your group. So let's select OK for now. And let's delete this chat. Now we'll go ahead and show some of the customization options for the chat window. So it is fully customizable, just like the other windows in Sierra chart. So I'll just minimize it for now. And I'll go up to global settings, graphics settings global. And 
we can look at the fonts settings here at the top. So let's select fonts, scroll down to the bottom, and you can see there are three font settings for the chat window. In this case, we've customized them to be this font right here, open sans, semi-bold, with a font size of 11. If we go to colors and widths, um, you're going to see the color options for the chat window. If you scroll down a little bit, here they are. So there's a bunch of different color options you can choose and customize for the colors of the chat window. So for example, if I change the font of the chat window, let's just say we made it really big, press OK, and now we'll reopen the chat window and we can see that the font has increased drastically. All right, so that's going to be the basic video for the chat window in CR chart. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Take care.